But first, jury deliberations are underway in Aaron Dean's murder trial, and they'll decide if the former Fort Worth police officer should be convicted for killing a Tatiana Jefferson. Thanks for joining us. Izzy's off today. I'm Chris Lawrence and senior crime and justice reporter Rebecca Lopez has been in the courtroom every day. Rebecca, if, if jurors don't reach a verdict tonight, what happens next? Well, the judge told them that they could deliberate throughout the uh, throughout the evening as long as they want, that it's up to them. Now, if they don't reach a verdict, they could come back tomorrow, but they will be sequestered, obviously, uh, throughout the uh, duration of those deliberations. That's what he said. He's going to put them in a hotel room. Now, both sides wrapped up their cases uh, with closing arguments this morning, and this went to the jury at 1114 this morning. One thing both sides agree on is that a Tatiana Jefferson died tragically. He took her away, 28 years old, the rest of her life at the hands of this defendant. But a tragedy doesn't always equal a crime. It doesn't always equal a law violation. Jurors must decide if Aaron Dean intentionally killed Jefferson and committed a murder, or if he recklessly caused her death and committed manslaughter, or did he shoot her in self-defense? Today, you say you can't create the danger and then claim self-defense. I was looking right down the barrel of a gun. Dean testified he shot Jefferson when she pointed a gun at him when she saw him outside her bedroom window. We never, under the law, ever have the right to point a firearm at a uniformed police officer. But prosecutors claim he never saw the weapon and fired when he saw a silhouette. He never saw that gun. He didn't know what he saw. He was hard charging. He was gung-ho. He finally got some action, and he was going to pull his weapon. And because of that, Tatiana will never breathe again. He reacted tragically, but he reacted correctly under the law. Prosecutors say Jefferson had a right to have a gun in her own home and did nothing wrong, and the jury should hold Dean accountable for his actions. The defense says he was doing his job and should be found not guilty. Now, the jury sent out a note to the judge asking for some blank sticky notes and also to see some crime scene photos and some other evidence. But that is all we have heard from the jury, and we continue to wait here for a verdict. Chris, back to you. All right.